All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I'm going to be using Dawn of the Reapers, a Mass Effect mod for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, uh, as a reference for how to install them. Um, keep in mind, some mods do actually come with their own installers, so you actually don't have to do anything other than click install and it will do everything for you. But I'm going to show you how to do it for the mods that don't come with that. Well, not all of them, but 90% of them. So 90% of the mods that you get are actually going to work like this. So there's a couple of them that don't. One's like uh, Sins of the Fallen. Um, that would be the Battlestar Galactica mod that I showed off on Mod Jumbles. Mod Jumbles on Mod Jumble. Um, so that doesn't actually work like that. And I need to mute my friend really quick because he's coming through my headset. And uh, you can hear. But anyways, so let's actually... I already got it downloaded. So... Obviously, to download it, you'd want to go to Downloads and then Dawn of the Reapers version 2. You'd click that and then you click Download right here. I'm not going to download it though because I already have it downloaded. So I have it downloaded. Close out of that. Let's see, you're going to need WinRAR for this, so you know. So go ahead and make sure you have WinRAR. Who doesn't? But this is the this is the document right here, Dawn of the Reapers version 2. Um, you're also going to need a program called Large Address Aware. You can Google that. I'll put a link in the description as well. Hopefully, I remember to actually put that link in there. Um, but large address aware. You click large address aware when you get the program. You step one, select an executable. So what you're gonna do? Click this button right here. You need to find your Steam, your Steam profile, your Steam app. So what you need to do for me, it's on my E drive. Most of you will be on your C drive, um, depending on the type of computer you have. If you have multiple hard drives, whatever. But you need to find programs files 86 uh, for me it's on my e drive and might be on your c drive like i said could be on you know your d drive i have three different hard drives so for me it's on my e drive so i went to my my hard drive right i went to programs files 86 games steam library steam apps common sins of a solar empire so let me take you through what that would look like programs files 86 games Steam Library, Steam Maps, Common, and then Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And then what you do when you get here is you want to find the Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion.xe. Click that. There it is right there. It's in your thing. So you want to do step two, large address aware flag. Make sure you have this box this box checked. What it does is it, it enables the, the game to use more than two gigabytes of RAM. So basically what it is is the game only uses two gigs of RAM right now, or I don't know how many it uses actually, but it's recommended that you do this. It just allows it to use more than two gigs. So if you have 16 gigs like I do, what it'll do is it allows it to use more if it needs more. So if you're playing and you have four gigs of RAM and you haven't done this, then you might want to do this because what it'll do is when you're playing, if it's, if you, you know, if you want to smooth out your game a little more, definitely do this. I, just, I don't know the technicalities behind it. I don't know how much RAM the game actually uses. I'm not going to do that. Just do it. Just This makes your game run better and smoother. Okay? No crashes, no nothing. If you don't do this, you're probably going to crash a lot. You might not even be able to play any mods. I don't know. If you're going to mod Sins of Solar Empire, I recommend you do this. It's m Some mods actually even come with this program. So highly recommended that you do this link will hopefully be in the description if I can remember to put it in there but it's called large address aware you can google it if I don't remember to do it um, it's pretty easy to find you just download it this is what it looks like right here so it's very simple to find very easy to get and then you just click save once you have all that done so now what you need to do is you need to find your documents so Mine's right here, it's under libraries, documents, you go to my games, and then you find ironclad games, sins of solar empire rebellion, and then you find your mods slash rebellion folder. Now from in here, you can see I already have this folder in here, and I actually have a large address aware in here too. That's because uh, sins, or not sins, Star Trek Armada 3, A Call to Arms actually came with this. So... For instance, this is one of the mods that actually installs on its own. So what you do is you would download Star Trek Armada 3, A Call to Arms, 
and then when you open up the thing it'll say install the mod basically so you it's like installing a program except it's a mod for a game so that one is really easy to do this one what you do you just take Dawn of the Reapers from your WinRAR folder click it hold the button and drag it over and it's, it's that simple now the mod is in your mods folder so what you can do is if you don't have any mods installed you can go in game and enable them but I wouldn't recommend you do that the game seems to crash a lot when you enable the mods through the in game uh, options so what you want to do is you see this text folder right here enabled mods everyone should have that if you don't then make this folder but you should not folder but text document everyone should have that in their mods folder so what you need to do is this is how you enable it right here you can just write everything I have down right here but it should already look like this so you should see text and then version 0 enabled mod count might be 0 enabled mod name count might be 0 for you if you've never installed a mod if you have installed a mod it might be 1 and you might already see a name here but what you want to do is if this is set to 0 if that's set to 0 like that set that to 1 and then enabled mod name come right here in between the quotation marks delete all that and then what I like to do just to make sure that I get it right is I select which mod I want to install for instance we're gonna do Dawn of the Reapers even though I already have it installed I'm gonna click it once and select it and then I'm gonna click it again that way it renames it and then instead of renaming it I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna copy it then I'm gonna come to the text right in between the quotation marks then I'm gonna paste and then we're gonna save it we're gonna close out of it minus out of this minus out of this and then we're gonna launch sins of a soldier empire rebellion and mass effect is going to show up or dawn of the reapers or whatever you want to call it so that is how i install my mods if i'm doing something different if i'm doing something wrong then i'd love to hear about it if you install them in a different way then let me know if none of it worked for you if you're doing a different mod and you need help just put it in the comment section below and i will do my best to help you but that is the process that I go through to install Sons of the Solar Empire Rebellion mods. So, without further ado, I'm going to end the video now.